This all England final pits Olympic champions Tony Garwin and Chandra Vijaya on opposite sides of the net today. Tony Garwin and his new partner Halim Herianto reached the final by knocking out the top seeds in Hian and Landy Limpoliov in Indonesia in three sets in yesterday's semi finals. Ladies and gentlemen, Tony Garwin and Halim Herianto. Doubles final, all Indonesian. Tony Gunawan and Halim Harianto against Sigit Budiato and Chandra Wijaya. Now, of course, most people will think of Gunawan and Wijaya playing together. They won the All England title in 1999 and more recently won the Olympic title in Sydney. But they've all changed partnerships and the two pairs on court that you can see have literally just swapped partners so Sigit Budiata and Chandra Jaya have got through to today's final well they've had a couple of problems on the way against the number eight seeds Zhang Zhang from China 15-13 in the decider there and then in the semi-final against the number three seeds Chun Tan Fuk and Li Wan Hua of Malaysia. 15-8 in the decider. But look at the quarterfinal result as well. They were the number two seeds from Denmark. Ericsson and Larsen disposed of them in two straight games. So their opponents. Tony Gunnawan and Hannah Harianto. Tony Gunawan on the right. He's the current Olympic champion, 25-year-old from Surabaya. And just looking at their path through to today's final. They too, in their last three matches, have beaten three seeded pairs. First of all, in the third round, they beat the number five seeds, the English pairing of Simon Archer and Nathan Robertson in two straight games. Then they disposed of the number four seeds, Martin Lungard, Hansen and Lars Polska of Denmark. And then in the semi-final, their teammates, the number one seeds, Flandy Limpele and Eng Kiang, winning that 15-12, 8-15, 15-8 in the decider. So the umpire, Phil James, Doubles final. So the two players coming up this side of the court used to be All England champions. They are current Olympic champions, but they've swapped their partners. Of course, they've played together for the last three years. But prior to that, Chandra Wajaya, nearest to us in the black kit, used to play with Sigit Budiato. He's reformed that partnership as a pair. 
Budiata and Wajaya. There's Sigurd Budiata, 25-year-old from Jogjakarta. They were the world champions back in 1997 when the world championships were played in Glasgow. As a pair, they've been semi-finalists in the All England Championships again in 1997. But Sigurd Budiata was out of world badminton for a while, having failed a drug test and therefore Chan Wajaya was forced to find a new partner. He found that in Tony Gunawan. And Tony Gunawan, prior to forming that new partnership, used to play with Hallam Harianto. And he has reformed that partnership. So it really is a question of these four men will know each other's games inside out. former world champions, current Olympic champions, but the Olympic champions on opposite sides of the net. Both pairs unseeded in these gentlemen, championships. This is the men's doubles final at the Yonex All England Open Championships between, on my left, Tony Gunawan and Halim Harianto, Indonesia. And on my right, Sigurd Budiato and Kandra Vijaya, also Indonesia. Tony Gunawan to serve to Kandra Vijaya, love all, play. We watched Sigit Budiato and Chandra Wajaya in the semi-final yesterday against number three seeds, Jun Tan Fuk and Lee Wen Hua of Malaysia. And to be honest, we thought they were a little bit, dare I say it, lazy in their style of play. They seemed very content early on in the match just to lift the shuttle, defend, and we were very surprised by that. Yes, Dion, when we saw them, we know what a good explosive attacking pair they are. But for a game of three quarters, they were just happy to lift it and give it away. Um, when they did start attacking, you know, they won the match fairly comfortable. Love one second server. He did set up the opening for his partner there. Good smash by Wajaya. Had the opening from Sigurd, but... One snatches that and puts it in the bottom of the net. Earlier on today, you and I were having a chat to Britain's Olympic medalist, Simon Archer, and he was saying to us that he really believed that the player of the moment is Tony Gunawan. He thinks that he's the best player in the world. Absolutely, Jill. You know, a lot of people can't understand how the Olympic champions have split up. Well, they don't understand. Everyone thought that they were the best partnership in the world, the strongest pair, and yet they've gone their separate ways. There he is, Tony Gunawan at the moment and of course now that former all england world and olympic champion rexy manneke is here in england as part of the coaching staff we're getting a bit more of an insight into the men's doubles players from indonesia who of course are without any question the strongest in the world and the news is is that he feels that tony goodwin and helen harianto in practice really are destroying some of the other players and he feels they are without question the best pair in the world but they haven't actually shown it in results yet no you know whether that takes a little bit of time to mature as a partnership but i'm sure if they're doing it in the practice 
there's no doubt that they've, they've got the talent there, they've got every, all the weapons they need, so it's just putting it together in the major tournaments. any further down so isn't that so what all elite sport is about the being able to produce it on the big occasion because all these players have tremendous shots absolutely Jill you know you can imagine they practice with each other you know they've got so many pairs of the highest caliber um, and I'm sure it's it's gonna be very soon that they do show how good they are to the world no. Love. I have to ask you as well about the fact that both these pairs are unseeded in these championships. When you think that the Olympic champions are currently number seven in the world, that's two of the players on court. Okay, on opposite sides of the net. And Sigit Buriato and Hannah no. Parianto are currently number five pair in the world. So all four players are ranked within the top seven in the world in doubles. And neither pair gets seeded. Uh, it, it's amazing, Gio. I mean, there's got to be some system where these sort of players... They, I mean, it goes to show both of them unseeded, both of them coming through to the final. You know, there has to be a leeway where they do see them, you know, and they have a chance, you know, the seven. other pairs have a chance. semi-final Sigurd and Chandra will dry up seem content to defend but you can't really win matches Seven, that way two, I mean Gunawan and Herianto they're hitting it so hard you know I don't see if, if Sigurd and Wajaya are going to keep these tactics how they're going to win Buriato just showing what he's capable of. Tony Gunawan smashing from the back of the court, gradually making his way forward. The angle we got on that smash. That's 
wonderful. Both pairs showing that when they do decide to attack, how effective it is. Anticipating the, the lob from the front, everything was right, but just mistimed it. Two, three. He's the youngest player on court, and then Harianto, he's 24 years of age, and the oh. other's 25. Two, three, second serve. Service fault called. Service over. Two. Racket three. head too high. Both Trina Wajaya and Sigit Budiato are a little bit quick on their serves. Don't seem to settle themselves first. No, and I noticed that yesterday in the semis as well. You know, as soon as they won their rally, they'd step up and serve without, you know, even if they've been losing a few points, they wasn't getting their composure back. 3 2, second serve. Great attacking play then. So apologises for hitting three. his opponent. Sig it's so quick on the net. The net comes back. Three all. Both pairs here. Oh. <laughs> well, it's interesting that Sigit and Chandra Wajaya have chosen to be far more positive earlier on in this match than they were in the semi-final. Maybe realise that their opponents here today. Six, three. Or maybe just giving them a little more respect than they gave the Malaysians yesterday. Yes, I think so, Jill. Yesterday, you know, most of the way through the match, they didn't look up for it. They, you know, there wasn't that urgency about them, but from the word go, Six, you can three. see they want Six, it. Seven. I see it there. Seven, 
It's over. Three, seven. will be enjoying this. just wide oh, we're seeing some excellent doubles here a well placed smash by Sigurd down the centre of the court He jumps so high, he looks like he's going to smash it. At the last moment, takes all the pace off the shuttle. Going to win there. Looking to come in on the shuttle. There was a net exchange there that I just did Seven. not believe. You know, How can they have that sort of control? They're taking it so early, Jill. Sigurd is like lightning at the net at the moment. In your opinion, is Sigurd the most dynamic player in the world? I think so. Looking at him on this form, Jill, you know, he's awesome at the moment. Both pairs do, really. Whoever's gaining the attack, they're such powerful smashes, they are getting in the opening for their partners. Fairly simple errors from Sigurd there. Yeah, there's no, no need really. You know, he's, he's played so well. He's waited for the opening, but he's just looking to hit a winner too quickly. Seven, ten. Great attacking play. We see Herianto getting up, smashing again down the centre of the court. play standard tactics Eight, smash ten. down the center of the court set it up for your partner at the net
both games for the same shots. That's yeah, a little bit of confusion in the middle of the court there. And that often happens with a new partnership. Reflexes from both so pairs, but in the end, the pressure was kept up on Tony Gunnerman. in the attack, the partner's ready for the loose kill at the net. Twelve nine, second seven. A little bit of luck there from Herianto. Just clips the net as he pushes down the line. to leave that one. Smash by Herianto there. It's been set up. If you look at it, it's down the middle of the court again. Both players leaving it. Service for called. 10 12, second serve. Another service for called Malcolm Bannum of Lancashire. Service judge. Tony Gunnawan intercepted but just took the pace off it. Absolutely, he's been pushing most of the match but on this one decides to just stop it at the net. Absolutely, he served his straight away on it, getting the shortlist for Tony Gunnerman. Thank you very much. Yes, clever smash. 
13-11, second serve. Yes, Rajai there, changing the angle and smash, hitting at Tony Gunwin's body this time. We're seeing everything in this match still. Both teams attacking, swapping yeah. momentum all the time. In the end, Tony Gorman, great smash. Well, the crowd here at the National Indoor Arena in Birmingham really enjoying this men's doubles. It's of the very highest quality. It's incredible, really, Joe. I mean, all four of these hitting it so hard, and yet we're seeing some of the smashes being driven back. Two points, the deficit. So early onto the net, pushes at Harry Anto's body, gets a short lift, great smash down the line. Oh! Yes, nicely done. Relentless in his attacking well, play, gradually moving serve. further and further in until he could play the winner from right on top of the net. Thirteen down. Now Tony Gunnawan and Helen Haranto on game points. And they only needed the one opportunity. Men's doubles at his very best. 27 minutes of exciting, dynamic play. And the delight from Helen Harianto and Tony Gunawan as they secure that opening game, 15-13. Yeah. There is a time when winning isn't everything. And the time is now. City TV Sports brings you the PGA Challenge season, where having fun is the ultimate objective. The pros will be out for a good time. Don't miss the PGA Challenge season. Wendy's 3 Challenge, 23rd and 24th December, only on City TV Sports. This event is brought to you by Volkswagen. Especially for all you loyal hardcore WWF fans, CDTV brings back your favorite WWF specials in the month of December. 
Now that you as a viewer have voted for what you want to see, it's time now to play out the top three most voted WWF specials. WrestleMania 17 on 20th December, followed by King of the Ring on 27th December, and finally Invasion on 29th December. Second game. Level one. Play. Second game gets underway. Lovely smash. Right down the centre of the court. Not only does it cause confusion between your opponents, who should take the one down the middle, but of course, if it does come back, it narrows the angle of reply. Exactly. His opponent's waiting for the reply, rack it up in the middle of the net. Well, it's the little mid-court push that did the damage. defence from Gunnawan and Herianto there. Really dug deep, finally got the lift. Put it away first time. Tony Gunnawan trying to be a little That's too true. clever there, I think. Wasn't really on to play the cross-court net shot. Isn't it from Gunawan? Well, really great, I mean, he stopped, drop, drop, played a slower drop, brought the jar into the net, and all of a sudden, straight away, a deep smash to his back end. Doesn't he look happy? Service <laughs> <laughs> over. Three all. Three of the four semi finalists in the men's doubles championships here. Of course, Indonesian pairs. No wonder he's happy. Exactly. He's sitting there quite content. These are my boys playing out there. there Jill how we got that back I'll never know well I'm quite certain the court will need some attention after that the dive from Sigit Budiato
great attacking play there by Wajaya. He's then coming in off the smash. seem to be backing off at the moment, Darren. They're, they're deep in their defensive stance instead of standing up, standing their ground and trying to change that defence into attack. Yeah, it looks like they're taking a little bit of a respite. They're quite happy to lift at the moment, but, you know, it's keeping the others happy. They're happy when they're attacking. Four all. Second serve. Water out of position. Arianto. Just wide. Seven, seven. Leaps up in the air. Goes for the cross court smash this time. Just missing the line. Anticipation. Good smash from Herianto. Set Tony Gunner one up at the net. Five four, second seven. Smash, but the rally had really been changed around by Sigurd moving forward. Such speed. Four, five, seven, seven. Again, smashing at the right hip of Wajana. Judgments from Harianto. You immediately that that shuttle would go long. Six. Good. 
worked that rally extremely well. They seconds, kept seven. patience. They waited and waited for their opening, finally getting the short return. between his legs looks very spectacular but really to no advantage and Darren I thought before the start of this final of course Sigit Budiato and Chandra Wajaya former world champions Tony Gunawan an Olympic champion I thought if there was going to be a weak link it was going to be Helen Harianto but he has played brilliantly so far yeah he really has you know everything is done Jill he's been very solid he's not made any unforced errors you know they, they are complementing each other very well at the moment Wide of that center line for second server. It just seems to me as if perhaps Bodiato and Wajaya are just trying to get on the attack a little bit more, suddenly realize the urgency of this situation. They're again down. They're down in the second. Five, six. Fantastic rally there. This is the one Six where he eight. steps in and then continues forward to make the winning shot. Reaction speed is just phenomenal. Again, Jill, the rally before, he done it perfect. This time, he gets the opening. Really should have made a winner from that. injected a bit of pace and not necessarily with the power of his shot but with the speed of his movement that made the difference yeah it set up the opening it seems Tony Goodwin and Harry Arndt are quite content to lift most of the time at the moment yeah you're right no attempt in that rally to change their defensive play into attack Sigurd so fast onto the net, it serves, look how early he takes it off the top of the tape. 
So for a 4-6 deficit now, 9-6 up. Round in momentum in this match. Uh, Tony Gimelin calling to his partner to leave it. Alan Harianto deciding to play it anyway. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, that's better from Harianto. There's a little bit more of aggression in that smash. 6 12. Somehow, Tony Gunnawan and Helen Harianto have to play themselves back into this second game. They started the rally with a flick serve and they were on the defence always after that. Yeah, straight from the beginning, it, it just seems from six all that they've sat back a little bit, they've not... They've not tried to force the pace or try and get them it early. Oh. Again, they're onto the serve so early, gets a short return. from Sigurd Buriato. Service over, 12-6. Yeah. <laughs> Apologises for the luck. Yeah, hits a backhand drive down the line. Tall order to come back now from six thirteen.
this just gets better and better. Incredible rally. Sigurd diving on the call earlier on to save the point. When they progress from six, they've been stuck on that for a while. That could be a psychological advantage. Thirteen. So trying to play catch up. Errors like that on the serve won't help their cause. Fourteen. Game point seven. So game point now for the former world champions to level this at one game apiece. And indeed they do. The first time of asking. Yeah. And after 50 minutes of play, nothing to choose between these two pairs. One game all. 15, 7, 1, the players will have a five-minute...